Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here and welcome to the Tracy Reed uh, YouTube A Flutter Hop. So this is the hop that is going to highlight the brand new A Flutter collection that Tracy just released this past weekend or this weekend. Um, and so you'll see lots of inspiration using this collection and my page for today is pretty much going to focus on mostly elements from the uh, digital kit so I have uh, that background that you just saw that is actually I created that and took the mixed media element or the large one of the larger mixed media elements from the collection and put it on a white background and so I created my own watercolored effect background pattern paper so that is going to be my background I did add a little bit of distress oxide in prize ribbon so if you're looking for a great color match that is a great ink uh, to use with this collection with the blues and so I did put a few extra splatters on that. It kind of fades into the background, um, but I did uh, just add a bit more. And then I have two of the pattern papers that you just saw there, and those are um, two of the blues from this particular collection. And I went ahead and cut those down and matted my photo, which is about a four by four size. And now all of the embellishments that you see here, all of these except for there is one little arrow embellishment and a hexagon those are the only two elements from are on this page that are from the um, sticker sheet everything else comes from the uh, digital kit and so I just go ahead and print those out and then I'm a, a person who likes fussy cutting so I actually fussy cut all of my elements um, and so that is what I did is I just took all of those punched out the circles but everything else is hand cut and so um, like I said I am mostly focusing on that digital collection for the embellishments so while my background is drawing with those splatters um, I'm just going to build out here on this yellow pattern paper or this yellow cardstock that's going to back my whole layout um, I'm just creating sort of the clusters that are going to be on my page and so that way you can see what it's going to look like and then I'm going to come back here and it's all glued down there you go I did come in and moved a few things around and added a couple of extra white uh, florals so just to fill in I felt like there was some blank spots so I just wanted to fill those in now I'm going to take two different sets of letter stickers here and complete my title so I am using the citrus twist uh, letters here and I'm spelling out years of and so my title is going to be 50 years of magic and so this is a photo from the magic kingdom in one of the stores they have this beautiful castle uh, display or they had it uh, the 50 year celebration is over I believe now um, and so they had this beautiful display and I took a picture of it and it has a big 50 in the center of the castle just like the huge like life-size or like real Cinderella's castle and so I'm just documenting this picture and so that is my title simple and sweet now once I have my title in and all my embellishment is down I did want to mention I did pop up my photo so it does give me some uh, extra dimension on the page um, I'm just gonna come in with the Spiegel Mom scraps uh, sequins in brushstroke uh, this is an older uh, set that was released a while back and I'm just going to randomly place some sequins uh, in amongst the splatters just really to add some extra interest and a little bit of pop of sparkle because obviously that castle has um, like pinks and blues and gold and so it has lots of sparkle and when you think of Disney I always think of sparkle so it is uh, perfect to add some sequins to the page and give it that extra sparkle in amongst all of those uh, paint splatters and so that's what you see me doing here so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some extra sparkle down here at the bottom as well and once I've got all of my sequins down that is pretty much gonna wrap it up I will have still photos at the end of this video and don't forget to check the description box below you'll find Tracy's website so go and grab this 
really amazing collection that is so versatile, even though it's sort of spring and um, sweet kind of pastel -y kind of colors that you could use for Easter and anything like uh, spring. It's great for uh, Disney pages, as you can see. So go ahead and hop over and grab this collection while it's on sale, as well as the links to everyone who is playing along with the hop today. Go and see the amazing inspiration and what people have created with this kit. Uh, it is amazing how different each and every layout is, and it, it is so awesome to see all the different um, ideas that you can get to different themes to scrapbook to uh, lots of different techniques and ideas. So hopefully you'll find something inspiring. Here are the still photos. And with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.